So when I double click on the EJSS console, it will launch the editor. Okay, so let me share the editor. Okay, so in this editor, let me let me give a minute. Let me log in using my other phone, so I can I can simulate seeing what you are seeing, so that I understand what is the difficulty. Okay. Okay, very nice. Still need to start. No need audio. Okay, I don't know why. Okay, so um, okay, so in this EJSS, one of the cool things about EJSS is uh, we have integrated EJSS with the library. So natively within the editor, you can get access to all the source code. Lah. So you, when you come here, you click on this thing called the cloud digital library, it launches this. Uh, let me share again. It, it launches the pop-up called EJS models in the library. You select from the library option, Singapore. Okay, and it will load uh, the Singapore library that I maintain. So under the 00, zero workshop, because I run workshops uh, frequently. So this, this is the year 2020. So uh, here is an example of the evaporation simulation that I have created with you in the past two hours. Lah. So once you click this, you click download. Okay. Then it will ask you uh, where you want to save it. Correct? It will ask you where you want to save it. And you can safely save it inside your workspace, the folder called source. So it will begin by, by, by appearing it here. So you, if you're not very particular about file management, then you can just click OK, which is open. If you're more particular, then you may want to organize your file and all that, create new folder, or create new folder. If you're not particular, just open, okay? So in my case, uh, evaporation, okay, I just put it in my root of my source folder. Are you okay? Mm. Okay, I pull up. Uh, wait, uh. Okay. So let me share. So it will it will prompt you some some details. Uh. Just accept everything. Oh, uh, yes to all. And then uh then you will load EGSS with the simulation loaded. Okay, and then you have the benefit of the new simulation. How do I know that this simulation can run? I'll click on the green button. And now you can see the new uh, through the Google Chrome. Are you using Google Chrome to view all this simulation? Yes. Yes, huh? Is there a yes? Yes. Okay, can, can. Okay, so um, in, in this new simulation, I took the opportunity to add certain things. I scaffold the design uh, so that uh, it, it makes it easier for you to add new things. Okay, so I'm going to talk you through some of the design. So you, you just look at the, the old design. The old, old design was we, we vary this, we could change the, we could change the, um, the surface area here, right? Okay, so uh, I also created a dot. This dot is the area. So when you click play, using this particular temperature, play, play it, will, it will come down and then it will stop. So it appears to be a curve. Then if let's say you are a vertical uh, rectangle shape thing, if you click play, it'll be Hi. a straight line. Okay. I need to figure out other ways to have two trays here. Lah. You give me some time uh, because I have a lot of code. So I, I know how to make this stay there. And then after that, when you reset the simulation, another line will draw. So the student can see two lines. Okay, I, because I like the I like the single setup design rather than two separate setup. Okay. Can? Can follow? Huh? Yes. Okay. So so if I go back to EJS, I'll go back to EJS. Okay, let me explain 
uh, what I did. Uh. So, yeah, so first thing, how did I get the formula? Uh, okay, this, this formula here. Mm -hmm. Because dx over dt, because we remember when we play with it, it had problem following the line, right? So how did I get this formula? So I took a pen, I took a piece of paper, I wrote out the equation. Then I did some mathematics, then I found out that the equation is minus 2x multiplied by the reciprocal of the gradient. Okay? <laughs> It's, it's math, la. it's math. You, you want to, uh, later in the WhatsApp, I can, I can substitute with, you, if you cannot figure out the math, I can give you the math. La. But this is the formula la, to follow the, follow the line. Okay, so once I have this formula, because dy over dt is actually like this. It's, it's, it doesn't have this yet. It was like that. So therefore, it's very simple to just, uh, to create the dx over dt la. Okay. Okay, question? Okay. It's a formula, it's a, it's a mathematics. I work out the mathematics and I found that for, for the line to follow this, this way, I need to also uh, make the change in x follow a particular equation, which is minus 2x, which is this fella, then divided by the reciprocal of the gradient. Okay, I will substitute with uh, pictures. Lah. I mean, if let's say you're interested in the math, if not, you just take it at face value that I work it out and it is correct. Lah. How do I know it's correct? Because the simulation is running accurately. Okay. okay. Now, how did I manage to get it to work? If you notice in the screenshot of the WhatsApp, I specify two things. One is called, uh, uh, in programming, I, I think you all do the same thing, right? You all usually uh, put a subscript, uh, put an S at the back for store value. La. Do you all do that in your com science uh, classes? Computing uh, classes? That depends. Uh. Say, say again? Depends. Depends. Uh. It's, it's, like it's, like it's, a, it's a lazy way. La. So put S or put zero up to you. La. But I put an S for, S for store. So I'm, I'm essentially storing this value uh, of X when t is zero, I store it inside here, okay? Then what I did was, I, I put it here because I need the, the starting value. So how do, I, um, how do I make sure that it's correct is when the user slide the slider, this is the slider for the, for the x. Let me show you the x. So when a user slide the value for the x, I need to do something. Uh, okay, you can you can see the the inside, right? Yeah. So on change. So what is changing is a slider. So the the slider is binded to the value x, and as x change, I want the value of x to be assigned into the variable called uh, x s to store the value. And similarly for uh, y, I, I want to store the value of y inside this value called uh, y s. Okay, so on the slider change, I will do all this. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. okay. So this is what I did. This, this one can actually be commented out because when x change, it doesn't change y la. Oh, so it can be commented out. But I just left it there uh, for keeping the code uniform la. Okay, so when I put it inside here, okay, I I'm going to run now okay, let me run okay, I, I will run and then it will become like this ah. okay so this is uh, when I change the slider okay so this is the x this is the x value this is the y value so I also make uh, x s and and y s follow these values so that when I click play, when the thing simulation okay. run, Post. it will follow this value here. Mm. Can roughly follow? Yeah, I can roughly follow. Because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a trick. 
it's a it's a mathematics combined with um assigning values uh, because I need I need to store store the initial when t0 I need to store x and y somewhere so I, I call it these two values uh, these two variables xs and ys then I manipulate it by putting it inside by putting it inside here this is the store value of x this is the store value of y this is actually the gradient in the beginning of the line this is a reciprocal the gradient then I have to multiply by the change in uh, dy. La. Then, that's why it's become dy over dt. That's why it becomes like this. So once I have this equation, it will follow the, the, the line as it decreases. Okay. So uh, what else did I say in the WhatsApp? Let me see the WhatsApp. Okay, so I said this. Okay, this 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 one said already. Then the next picture, then the next picture. So I explain all the the three things already like in the screenshot. So with these three things that you change, I can make the make the water level drop. Sorry, you're not looking at my data. So as I make the water level drop, the it will drop according to this line now. Okay, so it's it's math lah. So. Uh, when you cannot figure it out, just ask me. I, I will try to figure it out with you. Okay. If you can figure it out, of course, better. Lah. Okay. Then, uh, okay. Can. So that is to create the elu the follow the follow the change. Okay. Now, then I have to figure out how can I, because the teacher said I want to be able to have a temperature, right? A temperature to influence the, the rate of the water dropping. Because we, we, already, <coughs> we already put in that the surface area, which is minus 2x. Or 2x because it's the, it's the actual length of the fictitious uh, surface area of the water, right? Uh, oh. the minus is because it's increasing. So I multiply by temperature, okay? Then I divide by 20, uh, why? The reason is because my initial value of uh, temperature is 20. Then I want to make sure that if I don't have divide by 20, if I don't have divide by 20, then it, it makes the rate of decrease very fast. So this is like normalizing. Uh, so it's, it's like multiply by one. Uh. If this is temperature 20, divide by 20, this whole thing is one. So I basically, when temperature is one, I keep the dy over dt the same. Follow? <laughs> okay. So if let's say I make a new slider called temperature, I make a new, temp, a new slider called temperature and I set the minimum to be 20 and the maximum to be 30 and I make the step five. In other words, I only allow the user to change from 20 to 25 to 30. So as temperature become 25, as temperature become 25, what will happen to the rate? What will happen to this? It will become multiplied by 25 divided by 20. So it's effectively multiplied by 1.5. So it should be faster. So then I ask myself, is this uh, acceptable model for the rate of decrease of the water level. So if I increase the temperature, it increases the, the rate, correct? So this is my, my mathematical model of, to simulate temperature. La. So at 20 degrees, it will drop the normal rate. If 25, it's, it's multiplied by 1.5. If it's 30 degrees, it's double of 20. Follow? Hello. Okay, good. So let's see whether the simulation is correct. Huh? Let's see whether the simulation is correct. So if let's say this is 20, this thing should drop to zero. Uh, let's say, how, how long okay. does it take? Let's say it takes 1.25 seconds. Okay. Then if I, let's say now I increase to double, 1.25, 
So it should be 1.25 divided by 2. Lah. Oh, let's try. Okay, okay roughly there. Lah. Okay, 1.25 divided by 2. No. Huh? It's not the same. Huh? One point two five over two. Play. One. One Play. point two five. Play. One point eight three. Hmm. Two. Oh. It, uh, I'm not sure why is it 0 0.83 la, but I managed to get the relationship correct. La. I need to figure out if let's say I need to debug. If let's say this is the wrong physics, la, then I, we need to look into the equation. La. Okay? Okay. So very quickly, within half a, half a day, we, we managed to make something that uh, respond, right. respond to the area, surface area. Okay, we need to clean up some of these, uh, but I will explain how to clean up. Uh, then it, you drop right. it, then it will, it will simulate the rate of decrease. If there's something wrong, then you need to... Play. Yeah, if there's something wrong, you need to let me know. Uh, then I will look at the equation again. If you can figure it out, good. Uh, or if you cannot, then check with me. Okay, so with this temperature, so with this uh, temperature, so it's just merely adding it into the ODE la, or the Y, and then this will automatically take care of itself. Okay, then I, so I have created, okay, let me see my new share. Yeah. Okay, so this is my, my, this is the way I did it. La. I create um, a tab, a, a basic panel. I drop it inside here. Then inside here, so in this panel, inside this panel, the only thing I did was called display called inline block. Are you all familiar with CSS inline block? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, so if you, uh, wait, uh, can you see my screen? Huh? So let's say you type CSS, uh, CSS uh, inline block. It then Google will tell you that uh, what, what it is. Uh. So these are the various command for display. Um, because JavaScript is the engine for the simulation, but for, for the layout and all that, they use CSS. Uh. Why is the world like this? I have no idea, uh, but probably because certain languages got into dominance and therefore, when it became popular, then it became a standard. Lah. So that's why it's, it's uh, JavaScript and CSS. <laughs> okay. JavaScript to do the, the computation, CSS to do the display where, where you want to put different things. Lah. Okay. So I, I can only tell you that uh, EJSS uses both JavaScript as well as CSS to to make the CSS is to make things look nice. Huh? So it's a display inline, display inline block. Okay, what, it, what it does is you can read it, like you can read, uh, but usually I just use two things, inline block. Yeah, usually I just use inline block. Okay? Okay. So whenever in doubt, just use inline block. Okay, now I go back to EJSS. Okay, so the display is uh, inline block. Okay, so in other words, if I don't have inline block, uh, I, I remove it. Uh, I remove it. I compile it. Let me compile it. Let's look at the browser now. Do you notice that this is on top and this is at the bottom? <laughs> yeah. So the this is called um, block. So by default, EJSS accepts block for the panel. So it will be arranged in block. So this is called one block. Then this is another block. Inline block means if, oh. 
inline block means if let's say let's say this is one one chunk, then it will be it will be it will be the next thing will be aligned to it. If there's space, it will align. Uh, it will align this here. If there's space, it will align this one next to it. It's called inline. Like this is called inline. Okay. Oh. Then if there's more space, it will move down. So because this is called block, this whole thing is called one block. So it will not care about any spacing. It will straight away block it and come down. Okay. Mm. Is, is, this is a quick tutorial about what is CSS. Uh. Okay, let me show you. So now I put back the code. I put back the code for inline block. Okay. Huh? Then I compile again. Let me show you my browser. You see now it's by the side. Because this is has a command called inline block. So it will try to put the next thing next to it, inline next to it. So if there's space, if there's no space, let's say I, I make my browser uh, smaller. Let's say I make my browser. You see, you, do you see the effect? Are you seeing it? Uh, so you can see that there's space. That's what it will bring, it will, it will be in line. But if let's say there's no space, it will come down. This is the power of uh, inline block. If there's space, it will fill up to this side. So if there's more space, if I increase my width, then the, the reset button goes to the left, goes to the left of the step button. So I like this type of design. So normally I just use inline block. Okay. Okay. So uh, to keep it simple, always use inline block. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then, uh, okay. Then we have a we have a. Okay, let me show you my screen. Then I have a temperature. This is this come from where? Uh, this one I took from here. I took from here. Okay, I click it and I drop it here. Then it becomes like this. I double click it to change the property. So the property is temperature with a equal sign. Okay, so if I go to my go to my browser, that is a temperature with an equal sign. This is this, this is the label lah, oh, label. Then uh, I go back to EJS. Okay, so the the next thing below it is a slider. So this slider takes the value or the variable called temperature. Then these are the properties associated with it. Lah. Okay. So with, with this basic idea, okay, with this basic idea of a panel, I can easily right click, copy, and then duplicate it. It will paste it at the bottom. So you just click on it and drag it up. And then rename this. So our teacher wanted temperature, uh, wind. So okay. this I call it wind. Okay, yeah. wind. So this one I will, I will change it to wind. Change it to wind. Again, the the wind is a fictitious value lah. So the wind is uh, no wind, uh, medium wind, and high wind. Lah. So of which it is arbitrarily designed by us. So I can use uh, no win, uh, no win to be multiplied by a factor of one, then high win and uh, medium win and high win to be like temperature like that. Lah. So the similar concept. Lah. Okay. So uh, I will now change this slider. Let me show you the slider. So now this slider, I will double click. So now instead of temperature, I'm going to call this wind. Okay. So the number is again arbitrary, 20, 30, up to you. So maybe I make it one and three to make it simple. Okay. Wind, uh, Z, one, means, uh, one means no wind, uh, two means medium wind, then three means high wind, strong wind. 
So because you have to bear in mind this is meant for primary school. Lah. So they are not so concerned about the accuracy or, or not, wow, turbulent wind and whatever <laughs> laminar flow. So they just want to know got wind, have this effect, no wind. Have so more wind means more evaporation. Do we, we can agree on that, right? Mm, yeah. uh, okay, so we just design something one to three, then just plunk in, just change the label low wind or no wind and all that. Later on, I, I, I will can. I, I think you should be able to figure out like, if I take it slow. Huh? So this wind now is pink color. Huh? So what should I do if it's pink color? Um, uh, variable. Correct, variable. Okay, so now I go to EJS. I will now go to my model. Okay, I already designed a variable tab. Okay, temperature 20 initially, area 0 initially. So maybe I need to insert wind. So wind maybe at first is one. Why why do you all know why I don't choose zero or not? Uh? Because the formula. Yes, correct. Because in the evolution, if I put zero, it doesn't move. So it, it defeats my purpose. La. Oh, so very good, very good observation. Thank you so much. Okay. So uh one is, is a better choice la, because if you use zero, it screws up all your evolution, is it? Or oh, then you got to do some other mathematical trick to make it logical lah okay so one is, is a logical choice that anything is higher wind higher wind higher wind okay so here then in this evolution i will just come here i'll multiply by wind and since it's, it's already it's already what we call normalized and that means it has a unit of one for uh, zero uh, for no wind right so i don't have to divide by another factor i don't have to divide by 20 you get what i mean because that will make the, make the simulation very slow. Mm. Unless that is my unless that is my design, I want to make it slow. Okay, so this will this will do it. So in other words, I have given you a basic template. I show you how to. Yeah. I show you how to edit here. I show you how to edit here. Right. These are all creative. Uh, creative creative process creating processes. Uh. So I cannot, sure, surely it's, all, it's always like this, it's always like that. It's just that because somehow you, you can appreciate the, the problem solving, you can figure out a, a, a way to, to design it such that it's, it achieves your goal. Uh. Oh. Okay. So, uh, okay, so I put it here, then that will create a win. Okay, let's, let's take a look at the simulation to see whether, is there any surprises? Okay. So, uh, okay, win. Okay, so if I change the win, it has no, it has no um, icon. Maybe I can make it such that if there's no win, I have an icon for no win. Uh, slide it to middle, then there's a smaller picture of, of cloud moving or something. So it's up to your, uh, up to your inspiration. Now, uh, what do you want to let the children visualize? Uh, oh? So now currently there's no visualization, but is the physics, is the mathematic thing uh, sensible? Okay, let's look at it now. Nah. Yeah, I got to reset this. So let's say it's no wind with this particular temperature. Play. Okay, what is the value at the bottom? 1.25. So if I make it medium wind. Play. Okay, it becomes uh, 0 0.36, which is uh, twice as fast, right? It's half the time, right? Is it? Uh? Oh, correct. Uh? Mm. Because 1, 2, and 3. Uh, so this should be, I do not know. Uh, my I math is yeah. not very strong. Okay, so <laughs> 0 0.48. <laughs> okay, so you, you can see that we have simulated a fictitious uh, environment where children can play with and we can simulate uh, very quickly right. the effects of evaporation with some variable that they can control in order right. to see the effects of the graph. Okay, I make a temperature first as a proof of concept then later on I show you how to do a win. So if let's say we now were to bring this to the next level, we want to design humidity, I need to go and figure out or you can go and figure out what does humidity do to the effects of evaporation. Maybe when it's very dry, 
that means humidity is um, very dry. Humidity is low, I think. Right? Then the effects of evaporation should be faster. If it's very humid, like in Singapore, then the effects of evaporation should be lesser. Correct? So you can go and Google and, and figure it out and then you design your own variable called humidity. You plunk it inside the ODE. Can? Okay. And follow, huh? Okay. Don't, don't worry. If you cannot follow, it's normal because these things are, are difficult, lah, even for teachers. So let alone for, um, for people who have you're just looking at it for the first day lah. okay so uh, okay let me uh, explain what i did okay because in the in the template that the teacher gave there was a, a picture of a graph so i designed this very quickly lah. so this is a called a combo box this combo box has three strings inside word and then this one and then this one so upon invoking different text different things will appear Okay, so this is the both. This is the best uh, hey. display la, for the children. La. So they can see both what is on the real world and then what's the graph. So I, I only can get straight line so far. I think just now, I think there was a curve, la, but I need to look at it again. So this the is the world is the same as the both. Say again, sorry? Is the world the same as the both? Yeah, yeah, the, the world is the same as the bow, the, the bow view, yes. As in, it is the world view lah. Uh, like the side world view. Uh, I mean, I'm not looking at the top view. Top view will then will see nothing lah. Right, so this is the side view. Uh, and yeah, so, so this is the, the idea. Okay. So how, are, are you curious how I did this, uh, this magical thing? Yes. Okay, I explain to you the step ah. Okay. I have to explain to you because you are manipulating it. So you, the more you know, it'll be better for you. La. Okay, how I manipulated it was, I used two variables called with one and with two. With one and with two are inside the plotting panel here and here. So they are, they are both contained. This is, the, this is the bow view, which is the world view. I call it the world view. This is the, the graphical view, okay? I put them side by side. So left and right, 50%, 50%. And then this is the container to contain it 100%. Okay, so I'm going to show you the property now. Okay, so I double click here. See the property is 100% width and 100% height. Okay, no surprises. That's the only thing here, nothing else. Okay. Uh, if I look at the plotting panel properties, double click. Okay. What I need your attention is this one, with one. This with one is now assigned as a variable. So instead of typing 50%, okay, why, if I hard code it as 50%, then it will be forever 50%. If I want to have a dynamic change, let's say suddenly 0%, suddenly 100%, then I need to give it a variable, right? Uh, then I pump the variable, I change the variable. EGS automatically know that this variable changes. It will pump, EGS will, will pump for me the variable value inside this thing called the width. So it's a very uh, clever way. La. EGS does all the heavy lifting for me. I just need to design, put some simple code. Then at, the, at my combo box, I will change it. La. Okay, later I explain. This height thing here uh, is, is taking a function called change orientation. Okay, change orientation. Why, why not 100%? Why not 90%? The reason is, EJSS is not very good with height, but it's, it's very good for width. So I need to design my own code, my own function in order to, to make it display 
uh, nicely on every device. Mm. Means on the handphone, on the iPad, or whatever device, I need to create my own function. Okay, so uh, I show you the function first. Huh? The function is trapped inside custom under this function. Okay, so these are all the documentation of what it does. So the function, basically you only need to change this number. So if I change this to 50, I mean 0 0.5, which is 50%, I compile it. It's now shorter. The height is now lesser. It's 50% of the screen view. Mm. Okay. Mm. So let me go back to EJSS. Okay. Then, uh, okay, then the combo box. Okay, the combo box. So in this combo box, if I double click it, okay. This is the option. This is the property for the world graph combo box. Okay. So it has this option. The option are world, X versus T, and both. Okay. So because you look at the hint, it's a string with a square bracket. So it gives the hint that I need to add the square bracket. But it is accepting a string. Lah. Okay, so this is the hint. Uh, okay, not, not very uh, informative, the hint. So sometimes I open up. Uh, okay, let me show you this one. Uh. Okay, in the EJS console, okay, if you click on this a second time, it actually launches two EJSs. Side by side. I mean, it may not be side by side, but I need to arrange it. But it will launch another instance. And then you can now do simple copy and paste of elements between different files. Uh -huh. So I'm going to click launch. Okay, it runs another instance of EJSS. If I share it, it will look like this. But actually, there's another one by the side. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I'm going to close it. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to open up the original one. Okay, so you can do, uh, you can open up two EGSS and then you can do copy and paste. Uh, yeah. it's, it's a very, it's a very powerful um, feature. La. It's like copying between documents or copying between PowerPoints. And uh, okay, what okay, so I need to okay, the combo box, okay, the combo box, okay, so in this combo box, okay, the I, I, I made it such that it's disabled when the simulation is playing, okay, where to find all this uh, syntax? Uh, sometimes if you okay, cannot. Uh, never mind later I show you how to find such syntax later on but inside this on change is where the magic is la. because when this combo box change uh, EJS needs a mechanism to, to to run certain script so if you inject the script here you, you write your own script here then on change so I'm going to compare whether the option is were or this or that and then I will run the code inside so I show you uh, So this is the code inside. Okay, this is the code inside. So these are commented. So I first I do a var, uh, then these are low level uh, coding for EGSS. You don't have to worry about it, just copy it. Basically, this, uh, this is referencing the, the item file, la, the item name. So the, the name of the combo box is world graph. So underscore view dot the found name, the element name, then get property, then select the option. Then after that, this is to do some checking. 
Do, do you all know what is this? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I also not sure what it does, lah. But basically, it's like if you check the option length is greater than zero, then if this is true, then it does this. Else, it will do that. No. Okay. It's it's a it's a Java it's a it's a Boolean check, lah. So if the option, this means you see this if this is var, right? Var option is this thing here. So if the length of the option is greater than zero, if it's true, then I will say the option of the zero element uh, set the option to be this value. If it is greater than zero, then set the option equal to a noun string. Okay, so it is doing some magic at the back. Uh, so don't have to worry. Just copy. It will it will run the script properly. So now option, which is this fellow here. If the option, which is a string, uh, is equal to world, I will make the world boolean true. I will make the with hundred percent and with two zero percent. Else, if the option is equal to x equals x versus time, then I'll make the graph boolean true with one zero. Why with one zero? Because with one is controlling the world view, and ah. this is controlling the graphical view the scientific view with the graph so if i want both then i'll turn on both booleans and then i'll make this 50 50. Oh. Make sense? Yeah. okay so in in some sense you need to write simple things like this because there there is no uh there is no like click and then it will appear and then you can select lah. okay so this is the hard part the, the good news is I have already done so many of these. So there's bound to be something you can copy and then you modify from there. If not, then you just tell me that you're stuck. Then you pass me the source code. I will look into it when I'm free. Can? Um, but by default, it will start on the option both first. Uh. Again, sorry? But it will start on world. Like, let's say when you press... Yeah, yeah, you will start on world first. What? Why does it start on? Is your question why is it start out with world first? Is it? Yeah, but then when we play the song, it starts on like both. Oh, okay, 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 <laughs> okay. See, I see what you mean. Okay, so in other words, okay, so, uh, okay, so can can understand. So um, you see, yeah. Uh, uh, let me come back to your share. Okay, so you see, this is the option. So if I reorder this, I reorder this, I copy this. Uh -huh. uh, maybe faster if I type lah, both. And I put it both in the front. I paste this word at the back. Okay, never mind the word. Yeah, maybe I need the scientific word first. I mean the, the both first, then word then the graph okay so if i if i were to do this maybe you can't see clearly on my screen okay i'm going to paste it inside whatsapp okay just by reordering the option okay option i'm going to compile it now you will see uh, let me share my browser so now you can see my browser Okay, now both is the first one on top. Okay, then were, then this one. So upon selecting uh, the different options, okay, it will uh, do it. Okay, so it's a, it's a very good observation that you made is as to initially I have both, but I give the user the chance to only see the world view and a chance to only see the graph. The reason is because when I design simulation, uh, chances are uh, I'm designing for the future, right? <laughs> the, the future is everybody will use handphone, ma. correct or not? Yeah. So it makes sense to make my, my simulation viewable on the 5-inch phone. So the only way to do it is we, we, max, we max out the entire view, which is why if you double click on the screen, on the handphone, it goes to full screen. You double click on the screen, and it goes, it, it shows back the, the tab. 
So I've already done uh, many rounds of all this and I find that this design seems to work. Lah. Work, work better. Lah. Maybe not the word is not work. Lah. It works better. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay, now I've explained everything. Okay, how did I create this panel? Okay, how did I create this panel? Y'all know or not? Plotting panel. Yeah, plotting panel. Yeah, this plotting panel, correct. So, I, okay, I'm going to show you how I did it. Huh? Okay, in this plotting panel, okay, I merely come here. I click on this thing, I drop it here, or I drop it here, it will follow, it will drop at the bottom, it will drop to the bottom. Okay, then I just double click on it to change its property. Then I, the trail, this trail is the, is the line. So I just click, then it will be a trail. Then I add a dot because sometimes the trail doesn't have a physical dot. So I add a dot to create the, the trail and the dot. Okay, because um, it's a good design la. when when you design a trail, then it must have some focus point for the student to look at, la, which is the shape. And then this is the trail. Okay, so I'm going to delete this. And then I'm just going to show you this. Okay, I double click on this property. Okay, you look at this. The width is width two. Mm. All right, and then the height is the same code. Do you all still remember why I'm using change orientation? Why not put 100%? So that you can be compatible with other devices. Uh, sorry, adaptable with what? Compatible with other devices. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct, yes. EJSS cannot do height very well. Okay. <laughs> So I have to invent my own function to handle all the different devices with Chrome, uh, Chrome Safari, Firefox, handphone. Then even for handphone, sometimes it's landscape portray. Then if it's iPad, if it's iOS, if it's Android, all these are all taken care of by this particular function. I will detect whether it's an Android or iOS. Ah, okay, go, go. Okay, then I think uh, I, so at first this, these two are true, then these are all blanks. So I just arbitrarily set it to zero because time is zero uh, in the beginning. So the left corner will be zero, the maximum is five. The height, I just set it to zero and 40 la, because I think the, the area of the, the area of the liquid it's volume, la, but to in my calculation, it's an area. La. So I, I just make, set it to 0 to 40. Then I have a margin of 5 and 5. Okay. 5% 5 and 5%. 5 okay. Then I didn't do anything else uh, here, but there are many things you can play with. Okay. So uh, then how do I set the... Okay, let me show you. So how do I set the trail? Okay, the, the trail. I double click. Okay, the trail here is T for X input. X input means moving to the right. Y input means moving up. So it's T and area. Then I set this to connect is true and then I make it a bit thicker. <laughs> okay. Uh. Then the shape is the same. The shape is the same T and area and then 20, 20. This is a slight difference. Uh, why do I use pixel size? I mean, I could obviously put this uh, as a number, then not pixel size, but I, I found that this pixel size works quite well because uh, irregardless of how big the phone is, uh, it always shows up quite nicely, rather large. Mm. So I, I set it to 20 pixel rather than a, a, a number five or what, because when it, if it's five, if I, if I make this five, and this is not true, 
sometimes on a handphone, you can't see the dot. Oh, so I, I rather have this style because the, the, the size of the dot has no impact on the SIM. Right? It's just to visualize only. So I, I found this way uh, pretty uh, effective. Lah. So that's why I've I been using this kind of uh, coding. Lah. Okay. So, uh, okay. So I have explained largely everything. Uh, is there anything you want to check with me? For the trial number one. Okay. Try. Trial number one, yes. Trial what does the one. connector in and the configuration? Oh, how, how does the calculation work, is it? Uh, okay. The configuration. Okay, I show you the calculation. Huh? So the calculation is done uh, inside my fixed relationship. Okay, thank you for asking me because I, I think I forgot about it. Huh? So the, the fixed relationship, so far I've covered this and this, right? I didn't do this yet. I did something here. So this is my formula. So as the simulation uh, runs every, every delta T, every change in time, every instances of the time, I want area to be calculated. Then I will inject the code here. Okay, how do I get this formula? This is the area of a... What is the shape <laughs> look like? Trapezium. Is it trapezium? Parallelogram. Uh, Parallelogram. Uh, also can, uh, but basically is, is basically uh, this length, which is two plus two. This length, you can see that my mouse off. Huh? Then this length is X plus X. Ma. Remember? Yeah. So the bottom length and the top length divide by two gives me the average of the two uh, lengths. Then multiply by the height, which is y. See y uh, which is multiplied by y, correct? Yeah. So this is a this is a formula for parallelogram. Yes. Okay. Okay. Follow or not? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nah. It's, it's basically this one. Nah. This one plus this one divide by two. Right? Then times y, because y is a vertical height, not the slanted height, but the, the parallel height. Okay? Uh, what, what does this code do? When it reaches zero, right? The, when there's no more water left. Correct. Okay, so, okay. Good, uh, good uh, answer. So one of the things about doing coding is you can just comment it out. Okay. You just comment it out with the technique I just show you. Then you can play it. Okay. I show you my screen. Okay. Now the user can click play. Play. I can actually play some more and it play. goes to the other side. Post. Correct or not? So I noticed there's this bug. Post. Can you see the bug? Play. So now the, ev the, the event has a, the evolution has an event, it stops. But I need to add more script to prevent the user from clicking the play button again. Play. Uh, agree? Post. Do you agree with me? Play. So they will change the Y. Sorry? Yeah. They will also they will change, change the Y. La. Yeah, correct, correct. Oh. Uh, this is my, my quick fix. La. My quick fix because now if I click play, play, you reach the bottom, the student click play again, play, it overextend to the negative end of the bigger. Correct? Yeah. So I don't want this to happen. Okay, I reset, I go back to my EJSS. Okay, I enable this set of the code. Okay, now, now it becomes black color. Okay, now I compile. Now I click play. Play. Reaches the bottom. The user try to click play again. Play. Oh, can play. still move. Uh. Play. 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 Okay, like he play. managed to, the, the user managed to move. Play. 
Play. Okay, okay. I need Play. to stop the. I need to stop the sound. Play. So the the user can only at most click one more time. Then it it cannot go down anymore lah. So the 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 in other words, what I'm saying is my script is not foolproof. I need to look at the. I need to look at the script again. Ah, I'm going to look at the script now. Okay, in other words, this equal to zero one negative one. Maybe cannot be equal lah. I don't know. I I'm not sure why it didn't do properly. Hmm. Okay, let's try. Play. Play. Still can lah. Play. Play, 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 play. Yeah, still can. I need to figure out a way to stop. Yeah, figure out a way to stop the student from overplaying. If y is lesser than zero or equal to zero, y equal to zero. Pause. Okay. If if this is causing problem. Uh, one other way is I can come to my. Uh, can go to my play button. Okay. Play. Okay. So when y is negative. When y is. When y is lesser than zero. Okay. So I copy this thing called y. Lesser or equal to zero, I go to my play button. There's a disable here. I paste it inside here. Okay, so when the Y is lesser or equal to zero, it will be disabled. That means this play pause button cannot be toggle uh, on and off. Okay, oh. let's try. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, nah. Yeah. Yeah, following right. <laughs> okay, so I play. 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 Okay, same thing lah. But now it's disabled lah. You you see the the thing is slightly more um sunken in, you know. So I can't click on it anymore. Okay, so. Play. Yeah, let me currently that is maybe there's a way to stop the second click lah. Greater equal. Yeah. But do you need to like say why is equals to zero when you when y reaches less or equals to zero? You need to you need to re reassign it to be a zero. You know what I mean? Oh, do you need the zero? Is it? Do you need to equals yeah, to I zero again? Like, I, I think zero is more. Uh, it co it covers a case where y is zero, ma, because you don't want it to go down and come back up again. So that's why I when it when it's equal to zero, I want to disable it. No, no, no. Isn't in the fixed uh, relations, you can oh, okay. if the one is if y is smaller than equals to zero, right? Then you still assign the value as y equals to zero. Does that make it like still another chance for you to click again? I don't even know how to phrase my question. I'm sorry, but yeah. You just pretend, no, like the screen is not in front. Of yeah, I mean, there's a way to do it, lah. I mean, I can, I can, uh, I can do it, lah. Uh, so let's say I come to evolution. Remember, in my event, my event. So instead of just pausing, I can, uh, I can create a variable. Uh, what's a good name for this variable? Uh, my my Mac is heating up. I need to put it on the floor again. Hang on, ah. Uh. Aiyah. Okay. So I can say um disable. I'm gonna type some code here. Disable. Uh. Disable. Um. Equals to true. Okay. Now, because this disable is not a, it's not a function inside EJSS. So, in in other words, this is something I added myself. 
So I need to come here, uh, go to go to variables. Oh, I have a disable. Uh. Oh, I have. Yeah, I just have to add the past tense. Okay, can disable. You all can see my sharing or not? Yeah, I can. Okay. I need to look at my handphone so that I see what you're seeing. So I, I already have a boolean here called disable. Can I use it? I think can. Uh. Uh, don't invent disable. Okay. So I'm just going to use for uh, disabling disabling button. Okay. Oh, you cannot see. Uh. Wait, uh, let me type. Not is it? Are you seeing? Flashing now, wait, huh? ah, okay. So now, uh, I add this thing called disabled. Okay, then equals to true. So now I will use this disabled. I will go to my play pause button. Instead of this, I will add in my disabled. So this disabled variable will become true. Okay, when the you when the event happens lah. Okay, so let's try now. Uh, let's look at the browser. Okay, I click play. Play. Okay, now I cannot click anymore. Okay, perfect, right? The solution is, is more robust. Ah. There's no more chance for the user to click on it. Lah. Okay. Okay. Any anything you can't figure out uh now you want to ask you ask me. If not, my intention is to pass the source file to the two of you. Then you all can uh the, the fun is is you you do it la, then you have more questions la. any any questions you want to ask mm. with respect to um with respect to adding the the question i think the teacher wanted something like this right so uh, surface area surface area we have done already right is uh, 2x temperature we quickly added one panel and we added a text a label and a, and a slider presence of wind we quickly also duplicated this and then we we duplicated a, a wind pseudo wind a, a makeshift wind okay humidity that's the thing that y'all can uh, go and do Google and research it and then see what is a good model to add on to the rate of decrease of the Y. Because the rate of the, the rate of decrease of the X already, I formula it already. So you just need to figure out how to make the Y decrease. As, as humidity is uh, low, medium, high, you know, something like that. Can or not? Can but um, I know now that we have only one, what's it called? One container, right? Hmm. You want to add the second one, is it? I don't know, cause I mean I'm okay with this, but with the requirements, not requirements, but the teacher said that the simulation should be a comparison of two. So does that mean we still have to show two of it? Because the next sentence also say you can only change one variable for a fair test. I mean she wants to. Yeah, I want to see a comparison. La. But then also, do we still need to show the graph? Like, you know what I mean? Like, how we need to show a comparison, right? Mm -hmm. Then maybe we can also include a choice so to show them a graph. Show them a graph? Like, you know, the graph that we have now, right? It's actually uh -huh. showing how, like, the rate of how fast the water evaporates, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe that is not, maybe you don't show that first. And I'm not sure because from what I'm thinking is that. 
Okay. Are you, okay. Are you saying? Okay, you're saying several things. Okay, so I <laughs> hear you correctly first. Huh? Okay. If you want to have a two panel, uh, sorry, a two object simulation worldview, mm -hmm. uh, if that is what you want, can be done. Okay. So the second question you asked me is, maybe you want to hide this first. Just show this first or this first. Then don't show this first, then later on as a student, explore, then you show this graph first. Am I hearing you the second one correctly also? I think it was the question whether do we need to show all three of it at the same time? You mean A, B, and this one, is it? Yeah. Do we need to? I mean like... No need, no need. But that's you just have to design it in, in a way that you, you think is easiest for yourself and it's easy to maintain the source code. And then you have to just rationalize that this is the better way or a better design. Uh, I can I can show you how to add the second trail. Do you want to see that? Then then you continue with the humidity. Would that be something you want? Second trail is in. Yeah. So I can. Second I can have the first tra uh, first trail. The first trail you'll show the first trail. Let's say it looks like that. Like first trail. This is for low uh, low temperature, let's say. Yeah. Then click the reset button. It, the, the dot will go back. The simulation will reset to its default location. Then you can change the temperature. Then you click run again. It will show a second line. The, this design... It's not showing the EJS. Again? It's not showing the EJS. I don't understand no. what you mean. I don't know. You're just talking. It's not coding yet. Yeah, we haven't coded. I bet I can edit now. Is that what you want? Or you want to do the humidity first, then you come back to me, then I add the, the second trail. Or you want to have two two objects, then straight away draw the two the two lines also can. That would be better, I guess. So like, you yeah. want the two container, then draw the two line and finish. I mean, that is the design, la, rather than to have one single object, then you've got to play it once, then one tray will appear, then you reset, then you set the second temperature, then you will draw a second trail. I mean, that is good for like students to learn more, la, but I'm just following the question that's given. Mm -hmm. okay. Actually, it's quite weird, that it says, right, it wants to show a comparison of the two, but then we need to change the surface area. If we change the surface area, like, but at the same time, we need to, how, how do we control the surface area of that tool while we are making comparison? Mainly because their surface area is different. Right. Like, it's, they say they want to change one variable, but in then the end, we are changing two, right? Because we have two, to compare, two containers to compare. Yeah, the, the two coordinates have the different have different surface area, but like they want us to change the surface area. Is it? Actually, I'm not sure whether I'm understanding the question right now. No, I, was, I, I get what you're trying to say, but is in mm. so you. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> I, like I, 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 I add the trail for you, then you all decide whether you want to have two objects. Because to have two objects is, is just simply duplicating the view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not difficult. Yeah. It's just copying, then displace it to the left by a certain amount, then it looks like it's two things. Uh, then I need to do some magic. La. Instead of X, I have to call it some X2 or something like that. La. So that is a is obeying its own uh, ordinary differential equation separately mm. because it, it will take input from temperature to humidity to and wind to you know it, it, com it complicates the the internal structure but it is just a one-off thing then if you like this design and you think that the kids uh, can do it i can show you i can show you how to copy it lah, but you need to you need to copy the rest, huh? Is that what you want? Or maybe you can like discuss what really is the question about 
because it also still confuses us the one. Again, sorry. The question itself is a bit confusing. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I think right. I think um we can just have one object because the question is like one the surface area as a factor, right? Yeah. yeah, exactly. You just have one object and then we just like, oh, you want to change the surface? Yeah. 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 yeah just like, okay. That was my original interpretation. Uh, I think the teacher sent me this picture mm. only as a concept of a, of a possible uh, question type. Then her words, her words, uh, later I show her words. Her words, you know, so this simulation, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is, I think, what she wants. She wants a pretty open simulator in order to make classroom teaching more engaging. Right? You know, it's, it's, so, it's so boring, right? You sit there and look, listen to the teacher say, oh, this, that, this, that. But now I have something for the student to play with. Oh, different, you know, I can, <laughs> I can look at it and decide, oh, yeah, indeed, surface area uh, increase and what? Uh, what will what will happen to the amount of water? You now, or change the temperature in the room. Then, of course, we can we can make it look nicer and all that. But I think a single setup will simplify the the setup. I just got to script in the ability to do a second trial. That means yeah. a different run. You know, like a data logger. So data yeah. logger, I put in one put the temperature thermometer inside one beaker then it will straight away draw one trail then i put it inside another beaker then it will it will stop the trail for the first one then i, I stop the data logger i put it inside a second uh, instrumentation then it will show me the new temperature reading for the second setup Okay. Okay, I think very nice. Yeah, I think that's okay. <laughs> okay. So you want to add the line now or, or you all want to go and figure out the humidity first? I don't know how I don't know how she Huh? Discussion. You're going to discuss it lah, huh? So I okay. I dropped yeah, the... <laughs> Sorry, sorry, what? Yeah, we will discuss. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So uh, okay, I did I drop the source code here? Well, you all managed to get a source code or not like, in the end? Uh, yeah. You all followed the, the step I did, right? Go to EJ uh, the teacher library go and get it. Yeah, the library from library uh, and I got it. But so when I got when I download it from your website, the zip yes, folder. Yeah, from the website. And I somehow cannot open the one that is on the website, but I can open on the library. I can open the one I downloaded from the library. Yeah. Right. But what is the other way that you open that cannot open? The one that is from the website. The if I download the zip file. Why yeah, the zip file is from the website rather right? from the website. You show me, you show me your screen, your co-host, right? Hey. Your co you show me yeah. how you open up the file. You take over the, the screen sharing. You show me how. Yeah. Let me uh, try Oh my. Yeah. So actually, <laughs> mm, I went to this website, right? Mm -hmm. I, I keep this one that I managed to download. Oh, uh, okay, correct. That's a source code, correct? Open it. Yeah. Yes, open it. Which, which? Yeah, okay, I extract already, right? Okay, extract it already. Copy the, con copy the folder into your workspace source folder. Show me your, is it possible to show your file manager? Yeah, about that, I don't know how. I've never used it before. Yes. Your file manager? 
Um, your, your Windows has a file manager. Ah, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Next place, source. Yeah. Ah, so it is here, right? So do you yeah. do you say you downloaded something, right? Ah, you downloaded. Okay, it's it's the third one. Oh, double click. It's empty. Oh no! I think I took it out, but I still cannot open. I put it in. I think I cannot open. Like it was this one, I think. No, no, no! It was not this one. This is the 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 folder and asset. Okay, then I extract again. Then I okay. Wait, so I extract right? Then I just copy the whole folder. Yeah, copy the whole folder. Don't copy just a single file. So I put here, right? Because sometimes we may have pictures inside, and then if you just copy the the source code. You don't have the benefit of everything. Yeah, correct. Yeah, right? yeah. So, so this is the yeah. folder. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so this, this is the only thing I use. Uh, yeah, this, this evaporation.ejss is the source code. So now you go to ejss, navigate to this source ejss source evaporation folder. This evaporation. <laughs> So I just open. Yes, correct. Here, yeah, this way. Yeah, this way. Right. open. Yes. Yeah, but I couldn't. It says. Oh. What does it say? It, it says required files not found. Huh? Huh? Cannot be there. Okay, let me. I don't know. Oh, got the airplane with us. The airplane so noisy. Yeah, but then after a while, I realized there are some pictures outside. Like I only realized these three. I'm sharing it on But is it is it running now in your? Uh, but I think this one is when I download from the library itself. Yes, these are the other files. Yeah, but I, I think files. I got it from the library because I also yeah. download from the library. This is the one from the library. Yes, yes, correct. Yeah, so but if I go from the yeah, so if you open up, okay, so this is from the digital library, the one that you're pointing at. Yeah, this one is from digital library. Yeah, this is from the digital library. The the folder, this one double click inside the folder. Ah, uh, this is from downloading the source source file and then you copy over. This is the contents. Yeah, both contents should be op should be able to open in EJS. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I cannot open can this one, but I can open the one that I downloaded from library. Like okay, you show me the you. Let me see the folder. The folder. Ah, the folder. You right click the property for the file. Right click the property. How how big is the file? Fifty two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh lol. Yeah, uh, 52 KB. I think it's, it's here, right? Oh. It's the same, it's the same 62, is it? 52 or okay, 53. Oh, you, you go back to the other one. You look at the library. It's, it should be the same file size, 51. <laughs> hmm, got some slight difference. Uh. Yeah. Then the one inside the folder cannot open. Yes. Ah. Oh wait. Why oh, I need to organize this account. Um, it's even smaller, never mind. It doesn't... I think I downloaded twice. But this is the one that I got from the website. Yes, yes, correct. Actually, from the website, I downloaded the one from the website. It has a lot more um, files, like um, more items. Wow. The only thing inside this folder is a screenshot. Yeah, correct. It should be just uh, yeah. It should be just like that, yeah. correct. Woo. So you, you can't open from this. You can't open this one from the folder. I can't open from this, but I don't know whether I can open. Can. Let me try opening from that. Outside. You got to open up from EJSS. Uh. you you can't double click. Yeah, it's I know. I open. Okay, you <laughs> wish. Right. Yes, the network is slowed down. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Nice. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Sorry. Um, 
go to the folder. No, 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 no. Go to the folder. Ah, folder one, right? Open. It okay, let's just screenshot this. I cannot. Sh it will. It will stop my screenshot. You you crash? Is it? Yeah, it, my screenshot crash, but I don't know if I can show you. Okay, do this. You just reshare again, uh, If it uh, what what does it show you? I send on WhatsApp. Okay, mm -hmm. let's take a look at WhatsApp. I have a lot of evaporations in my whole folder. Oh, ah, require it. file, not found. Oh, require file, not found. I don't know, but typing you can open, is it? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I can. Uh, you can open. But like, uh, my, my file has a lot more items inside. Yeah, it's... Like, from the website. Oh. Let me show a screenshot of it. Like, hmm. when I download it, okay, okay, wait. Yeah. Wait. Uh, I, I downloaded like and then I extracted to a new file and then I just moved a new file to the source. Yeah. 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 Plenty of uh, yeah, like a lot of version, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me screenshot for better understanding. Wait, uh, unless unless I see your name. Um, yeah, yeah, you're missing a lot of things. I, I see it now. Wait, let me let me go and check. Nope, not here. Maybe you didn't unzip the correct things. Let me yeah. see. You're not sharing, right? I share my screen, huh? Yeah, I'm not sharing. Yeah, okay, I share my screen, huh? This is what I get when I download the folder from the from the folder. I mean I unzip from the folder. Yeah. Oh, okay. so it has the source code, which is 53 KB, correct? But it has this all these pictures with, with okay. it. Lah. You didn't extract the whole folder and then you didn't throw it inside. Lah. That's why it was something that is missing this file, this file, and this file. Yeah. Mine got a lot more. Like, yeah, these this three yeah. are the three things that are missing. Lah. Oh, let me see yours. I sent to WhatsApp. Oh, you downloaded oh, okay. the model, is it? Okay, because you downloaded the model. <laughs> <laughs> you downloaded the model. Hey, but like, what the hell? Um, let me see. Yeah, because you should be downloading the zip, the, 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 the source. So you downloaded the model. This model, okay, so... Uh, it's the same one as your, like, what you were showing on your so, what you have downloaded is what you can put inside any learning management system and it will run like a like a real virtual lab. You will have the different different files. Ah. So this is the one that you want to give to the students. Ah. The the source, the source you, down, you try to download the source one right? is the below yeah, the source one. is what we share among uh, teachers and developers how to improve the simulation. So it has a lot more things is correct because you downloaded the model. But the good news is the model also has the source code because we also put the we also put the source code inside the model. So there's perfectly nothing wrong. It's just that it, it, it takes up more space lah because you have a lot more files. You even have the EGS library. Uh, this folder is required. These are all required files. The these are the unnecessary for because these are meant for the meant for the website now. but this one is also the website oh okay hmm. so if it works for you it is still okay lah but typically this is larger lah the model is larger lah among uh, developers we 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 share the source code hmm. Okay, good, good. So at least I, I get to see some uh, real issues. <laughs> <laughs> so can you can you all take this uh and, and continue see see uh whether you can figure out how to uh do the rest of the, the things and then talk about the humility. Then the the harder one, uh maybe tomorrow I show you how I can edit. Or I can edit, then I show I talk to you, I explain how it works. Lah. Which one you all prefer? You all want me to you want me to show you step by step or just talk talk through the 
the injecting the the new trail. Mm. Ah. Uh, talk to us about like how you derive so like. So you talk. Do you say, uh, okay? Do you say, uh, put it inside first, then just explain, or do you want me to show you step by step? I think I think show us step by step is more. Like okay, show you step by step. Okay, step, by step. Yeah. Just in no any problem. case, we miss something. Tomorrow night, I do. <laughs> okay. Can. So, uh, so that's it for for today, lah. Huh? You all continue uh, exploring, and and come up with some discussion. Uh, see see what you all can uh, share information, and see what other issues you have. Then tomorrow, then you you ask me again. Okay. Okay. You can still use this, right? Or like, you need to create another Zoom. No, I don't know, leh. I I mean, I can leave. Then you all see whether you all can continue or not, lah. Okay, I leave now. Then if you all can continue, you all continue lah. You can, you all can. Uh, I think should be able to continue. I not, I not sure. I never tried before. Uh okay. Before that, um, so yeah, tomorrow eight thirty a.m. Yeah. 